candidates enter their final stretch in the campaign season, voters will be deciding hot topic issues in our local area. In McAllen, the school district election has been the one making noise for board seats and the bond package, which is the most heated. Meanwhile, city commissioner seats are up for grabs. The most watched race is the District 1 seat with Richard Cortez and Debbie Crane Aliceta, who are in the runoffs after neither of them got 50% of the votes in the general election last month. Crane Aliceta, whose brother was Scott Crane, that held this seat before passing away, wants to continue his legacy and hers. The swimming pool and the tennis courts and the baseball, we'd have all sorts of walking trails and the botanical gardens. And it'd be a learning center, it'd be a place that would create revenue for the city because of tourism dollars, but it'd be a place for everybody in McAllen to come and enjoy themselves and actually meet their neighbors. Former Mayor Cortez is seeking a comeback to the commission. He said that he would be an ally for the current members. Uh, a little further in, in my service, uh, going back to the city, then I'll start you know, throwing out the things that I think would be good for our community and see whether the mayor and the rest of the city commissioners agree with me. And the District 1 runoff between Debbie Crane Aliceta and Richard Cortez saw a 10% increase in voter turnout over the general election. That could be contributed to the McAllen ISD races for school board and bond issue, which has been the most heated. Barr is fighting turf for two slates, looking to take over the city commission. The mayor and commissioner seats are up for grabs. The far first slate consists of some incumbents, including Adam Farias for mayor, Arturo Cortez for place one, A. Jimmy Garza for place five, and Mario Bracamontes, who is a newcomer for place six. Far forward includes a bunch of challengers, Dr. Amoroso Ambos Hernandez for mayor, Alessar Ruajardo, Ricardo Medina, and Dr. Ramiro Calabero for commissioner seats. National chains have been setting up shop in the city for the first time in the Valley. The candidates for mayor differ with how to bring them. All that is, is in motion as we speak. I think one of the things that we look at uh, is bringing in stores that are not in the area. And so if you look at uh, some of the, the like mini bags, uh, you see Costco, those are, those are businesses that are not in the area. Yes, there's been business brought into the city of Far without question. They're visible. But with, like with anything, what matters is the details. You can bring in a property and buy a property, or that is a business into the property, with incentives. But you don't give the farm away. Edinburgh gets the attention for place four on the city council. David Torres is looking to unseat the incumbent, Elias Longoria Jr. The two candidates have different plans for the city. Really interested in where we're progressing, the, which direction the city's headed in. They're really interested in things for the children, things for uh, the future, and uh, they've they've liked the ideas that I've come up with about bringing the motorcycles to the police force. They're excited about the new library we're working on on the east side. They want to know why we're not putting more efforts into improving our streets and, and repairs, and they see a lot of potholes. So that's what the, the voter is telling us as we're talking to them, as we're knocking on doors, and, and that's their biggest complaint. Saturday will be the last day that voters will have the final say on who represents them. For more information to where to cast your ballot in your city, visit the city's website. All polls will be open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Be sure to bring your ID as well as it is required by state law to vote. For Bronx TV, I'm Omar Jimenez.